G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. Just cooking up some breakfast this morning. I made a few sales, but I was watching CP's vlog about the eclipse, and I'm like super interested in like natural phenomenons like that, and it was really cool to see it from his perspective. I also watched Casey Neistat's version of the video too. I have never seen a solar eclipse, and it looked rad, it looked amazing. It's definitely something that would be awesome to experience if I ever had the opportunity but it was pretty cool just to even watch it through a YouTube video. Anyway, I'm starving, I'm gonna get some food in, and then today is gonna to be another sourcing day. I'm gonna head out again and do some more sourcing and get some more stuff today. I think I made a couple of sales as well on eBay. So before I leave, I will send those items out and show you guys what I sold. So two items are going out today, two shoes. I'm getting out these Doc Martens that had that mark at the bottom, but they just paid for these, so they're going out. And then also, these shoes right here are going out as well. They're a pair of women's Nike Air Thea's. They sold for 30 bucks, and those ones over there sold for 85. But that's all that's going out today. Just getting out of Savers, guys. I picked up a G-Star Raw jacket for 15 bucks, but it should be about a $50 jacket or so. I'm gonna head off to a few more thrifts for today, though. All right, guys, I'm in a Salvo's. Just found these. RM William boots, pretty sick. Still of a price for 15 bucks. All right guys, I went into a op shop that was next door to the Salvos that I just went into and I got a big bag of clothes here, well, two small bags of clothes. Most of it's clothing, some shirts, Ralph Lauren, RM Williams, Calibre, and some shoes as well. It all cost me about 29 bucks. These shoes aren't like the best sellers, but for six bucks, um, they're like a $40 pair of shoes. The brand is called Florsham. It's not the best brand at all, but these are made in the US, so they'll bring some money. So once I sell those, they would cover the cost for everything else, and everything else is probably like a $25 to $30 piece individually, and there's about four or five of those in there. So I'm gonna start heading back home now. It started to pour down. I've just got saturated, so I'm gonna be heading back home, get the stuff that I picked up today listed. All right, guys, I made it back home. It is still pouring down outside. So what I had to do is fill up my Jansport hiking bag that is chock-a-block full of all the stuff that I picked up today just so it wouldn't get wet when I brought it inside. I don't think I showed you guys some items that I did pick up. So what I'm going to do is go through them and share with you what I haven't showed you already. And then I'm going to get stuck straight into getting these listings done and getting the photos done and getting them up for sale. So this is the bag of the clothes that I didn't really get to show you, so I'll quickly show you that just for content. I also did get two books that are going to Amazon. They're pretty heavy, more heavy than I would have desired them to be because I do have a shipping limit per shipment that I need to sort of stay within for the average price of each item, if that makes sense. So anyway, it's like 30 bucks a book there, it's looking like. The two games that I picked up are pretty cool games. I couldn't find any comps for Game and Wario, but this is for the Wii U. It's a, it's a pretty cool looking cover. I paid $5.25 for this one. I'm thinking 30 to 35 bucks. The other game I picked up was good old Mario Super Bros. This one also cost $5.25. And this one's looking like $30 to $35 game as well. I didn't get to show you guys this. This is the G-Star Raw jacket that I got from the Savers today. G-Star Raw jackets seem to do pretty well for me. Considering it's raining outside, it's good season for it, so people are wanting them. $15, I'm thinking about $50 bucks for that one. Here's another look at those RM Million boots that I picked up. $15, bucks, what a bargain. But the shirts I picked up that I didn't get to show you is just a... Standard Calibre button front shirt. Also got a women's, which was in the men's section, RM Williams Stockyard, I think it's called. Button front shirt. They're both like $20 shirts. These two Ralph Lauren extra extra large custom fit polos, which I'm probably gonna sell as a lot for like 60 bucks or something like that. But that is pretty much it for the haul and what I got today. And that is pretty much it for today's vlog as well. I did get up very late today. I'm having trouble getting out of bed in the mornings. I don't know why. It's just like, I just feel so warm and comfortable when I'm in the bed in the mornings and I just can't get out. It's so weird. I, I didn't get out to go thrifting until probably like 12 o'clock. I was slacking a lot today. 
but I still picked up some stuff and I'm pretty happy with the result. But that is it for today's vlog everyone. Thank you for following along and checking out today's video. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's one. Bye. Before I go guys, I was looking up this game here, listing this, and I've come to the conclusion that this is somewhat of a, a rare find. Someone's trying to sell this for $99 in a used pre-owned condition but it is like a game store and they're offering warranty they've sold three already and they have four watches so i'm thinking i might you know probably try and sell this for 70 bucks and see how i go because other than that there's nothing else that has been sold in the completed listings here i mean one sold but it's like a different color than mine like that's like pink and this one here is is black writing, so I'm not sure what the go is there. This one here sold for 37 was in, was in France. I don't know, I'm just going to try 70 bucks, just long tail it and see how it goes.